Hello, my name is Lindsay Montanari, and I lead the academic program here at Garobi Optimization. Thank you so much for joining us for Groby's first ever Hands-On Optimization 101 for Data Science Training, where we're going to be spending two partial days introducing the basics of optimization. On day one, we're going to hear about the building blocks of optimization models, including optimization applications. We're going to have a focused session on modeling and coding, complete with hands-on exercises, and we also will compare and contrast machine learning and mathematical optimization. On the second day of training, we are going to kick off with a part two of modeling and coding with Garobi Pi, and we're gonna spend the majority of the day putting everything that you've learned together with the final real world use case that you'll be able to build fully using Google CoLab. A quick note, you're not gonna to need to install Garobi for this training, but if you'd like to extend your problem solving and you're a member of the academic community, you can download a free full feature license at garobi.com academia. For the purposes of the training, we're going to be using a limited version license that you can access directly through Google CoLab. Finally, all attendees who complete the required sessions of this two-day training are going to receive a certificate of completion issued directly from the Whova app. If you have to miss some of the content for other obligations today and tomorrow, the sessions are going to be available on demand through the Whova app until December 1st, 2022. All certificates will be issued the following day on December 2nd, so please be sure to complete the required sessions prior to that date if you'd like to receive a certificate of completion for Optimization 101. Unfortunately, with the limitations of the app, we won't be able to issue extensions for those who are unable to complete the training prior to December 1st. I want to quickly touch on the intended audiences for this training session. The session is going to cover the relationship between optimization and data science, introducing the basics of optimization and guiding you to a culminating real-world application in Jupyter Notebooks. The session is intended to be an introductory course, and we've designed our culminating example to be challenging enough to engage those of you who may have some previous optimization experience coming into this training. This training is part of Groby's focus on helping to democratize optimization education and give new learners a starting point with prescriptive analytics and the Groby Optimizer. Groby is the fastest solver on the market, and we want to support our users with the resources you need to be able to take your toughest problems and harness the power of Groby in solving them. Whether you're a data science practitioner, new to optimization, or a member of the academic community working on predictive problem solving, with an interest in extending your solutions with optimization, there's going to be something in this hands-on training that will help you meet your goals. If you're a faculty member interested in adding optimization to your courses or leveraging some of the exercises or examples that we're going to use in this two-day training, you'll hopefully also find the training materials useful. Ultimately, this is a training session for anyone who's interested in either learning about or instructing other problem solvers in the benefits of optimization and the basics in getting started with Garobi. So as I mentioned, today's training is part of a series of educational resources that we are developing to help new learners understand the impact of optimization. We are thrilled to hear from optimization and data science experts, Jerry Yurchison, who is a member of the Garobi team, and Dr. Asan Kodabanda. Jerry is our lead instructor for Optimization 101. He has over 10 years of experience applying operations research, machine learning, statistics, and visualization to improve decision making. Before joining us at Garobi, Jerry was a senior consultant at On Location Inc. He worked as a data scientist for Booz Allen, and he also has several years of experience teaching a wide variety of college level math and statistics courses. Jerry holds BS education and MS degrees from Ohio University in mathematics, and he has an MS in operations research and statistics from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Asan is a principal operations research scientist at Decision Spot. Decision Spot's a partner within Groby's Alliance and provides advanced analytics solutions in the area of supply chain, logistics, and transportation. Asan has deep knowledge in logistics and transportation industries, and over the years, he's worked with several Fortune 500 companies, including GE, Northbrook Southern, and C.H. Robinson. Asan has worked on a variety of supply chain projects and has a focus primarily on network optimization and routing. He holds a PhD in industrial engineering and has been an adjunct lecturer for Northwestern University's Master of Science in Analytics program since 2019. So finally, before I hand over the rest of the training to Asan and Jerry, 
I want to let attendees know a bit about our academic program here at Garobi Optimization. As a company, we've always been supporters of academia, and in 2022, we're taking that commitment even further by helping to democratize optimization education and focusing on the development of new educational content like this training session. In addition to our educational content, Garobi licenses are always free for the academics and for recent graduates. If you're a current student or a faculty member and you haven't already, please be sure to visit our website at www.garobi.com and click Academic in the navigation bar. There you'll be able to register for a Garobi account, download your free full-featured academic license, and use the knowledge you gain in the next two days to start problem solving with Garobi Optimizer. We also have a brand new web-based game called the Burrito Optimization Game that introduces new learners to the power of optimization. You're going to hear a little bit more about that game within this training session, but if you'd like to visit it before we kick off training, please feel free to by visiting the game at www.burritooptimizationgame.com. So these are just some of the ways that Groby works to support the academic community, but please feel free to reach out to me at academicprogram at groby.com to learn more. Now I'd like to hand things over uh, for further introduction to Jerry Yurchison. He's going to kick things off with this comprehensive training and thank you so much again for joining us. We're excited to have you and we're excited to have you learn optimization and Garobi with us. Well, thanks Lindsay for that great introduction. Yes, I'm Jerry Yurchison, data science strategist for Garobi Optimization. Uh, and I'm gonna be the lead instructor here for, um, for the next couple days. And you're gonna be seeing a lot of me. Um, again, I am so thrilled that there are so many people that uh, decided to take a good chunk of two days um, in order to, you know, to all get together and and learn optimization modeling. So um, as we get going, or before we get going, there are a couple things that I want to talk about real fast, just to make sure that we're all on the same page uh, before we really get the get the ball rolling here. So. One is, yes, this is optimization 101 for data scientists, but uh, what if that's not exactly your job title or that's not 100% what you do? Are you still going to get a lot out of this? The answer to that is definitely. Um, for a, a class for data scientists or training for data scientists, we're doing next to zero machine learning or anything like that. You know, um, we, you know, we, we are putting together this course to show how optimization is a, a exceptional complement um, to a, a data science skill set. So if that's not your, it, it, you know, if that's not your bread and butter, what you do on a daily basis, there's still plenty to learn. And actually, you'll learn just as much uh, about optimization as someone who is a seasoned data scientist. So the goal of this training uh, the goal is to start pretty much at ground zero uh, of, of um, optimization modeling and and progress uh, to some pretty difficult through, through some pretty difficult problems um, what what we want everyone to feel uh, like when they are done with this training is we want everyone to feel like they are capable um, to identify optimization problems to have the skill set to, to um, begin uh, modeling some of these problems and to have the confidence to be able to expand your learning and expand your skill set and optimization um, through other courses or continuing to to, uh, to work with us um, and and future things that we may be offering. Uh, so uh, again, what we want from everyone at the end, or hoping for everyone to feel at the end, is that uh, you've taken a lot away from this uh, from this training and have the confidence to keep going. So uh, a little bit on the tools that we're going to use and the prerequisites. Um, a lot of everything is going to be, uh, the hands-on work is going to be uh, based in Jupyter Notebooks and notebooks hosted in Google Colab. Uh, so what that means is everything's going to be super Python based. Uh, so if you're very comfortable with Python, you're going to be able to sort of hit the ground uh, running a little bit more quickly than, than, than some other folks. If you're not great at Python, there's still going to be a lot for you to take away in terms of formulating problems. Um, and then understanding maybe a little bit more about uh, uh, Python because uh, you know that's the API that we're going to be using. Um, if uh, if you're comfortable with using uh, like Anaconda and running Jupyter notebooks on on your machine, then um, you should be able to download those and run those if you'd like. 
If not, we are, like I said, hosting things through, through Colab, which what that really means is that you don't need to download any software to run Python and to run Groby uh, on, uh, on those notebooks. Um, for, that, for that case though, you will need to have a Google sign-in in order to run the, run the notebook. So um, if you don't have one already, then uh, that'll be something that you should do uh, pretty quickly uh, as we get going. So what we'll learn again, uh, bare, starting at the very basics of optimization modeling, how to uh, identify the problems, what the use cases are, what industries that's it's used for, um, how you know the bits and pieces of an optimization model, and how to um, sort of build a mathematical formulation and translate that formulation into code to to give you the solution to optimal problems or the optimal solution to problems. Um, the levels of difficulty we're going to start very very uh, basic. But we are going to progress somewhat rapidly into some problems that aren't toy problems that are not super easy. So um, we, we hope that this will keep you guys engaged and challenged throughout the whole training. Uh, the class size. Uh, this is there's a lot of people out there. Last I checked, we're over about 1500, maybe 1600. Uh, this is pre-recorded, so maybe we're about maybe pushing 2000. So what that really means is that um, we're not going to be able to give individual attention, um, and we're but we're going to try our best to answer individual questions um, and concerns uh, as we go. So please bear with us and have a little bit of patience uh, as we go through this. Just keeping in mind that there are a lot of people out there. So uh, with respect to that, with regards to that, like what if I get lost? What if I have questions? Well, if you have questions, then yes, please put them in the chat. Try and reach out to us. We want to make sure that everyone gets the most that they can uh, out of this training. Um, but uh, what we are also going to provide is, you know, with the hands-on aspect, is we're going to be providing, you know, working through notebooks and, and filling in blanks and 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 working through th these problems. But um, we're also going to be providing the solution keys and the answers and and the completed notebook. So if you get lost, uh, don't worry. You know, sort of. Uh, catch up using that material, and then uh, and then that should get you sort of in a in a place where where you're all caught up. So um, uh, that's all. That's it for me for now. Um, I'm going to hand it off to Asan to talk a little bit more about uh, his thoughts on the training and things that he's going to be talking to you about. So over to you, Asan. Hello, everyone. My name is Asan Kodabanda. I'm a principal operations research scientist at Decision Spot. And I'm very excited to be part of this two-day training. Um, I have done several optimization trainings over the years, but this one, which is tailored to our data scientists, is a bit special for me. Because you see, I teach an optimization class at Northwestern to those who pursue a Master of Science in Analytics. Uh, I also work with data scientists closely on my day-to-day -day job. Um, and in both of these settings, in academia and in industry, one gap I would say that I've noticed is not knowing the important role that mathematical optimization plays in the analytics space. Now, I admit someone might say, so what? Not everyone needs to know everything, correct? Um, yeah, that is true. It, and I'm not suggesting that everyone needs to be an expert in everything. But I believe the same way that someone like myself with an optimization background should know at least the basics of machine learning so that they can use them when they see them fit, when they're solving a problem, especially those cases that machine learning can solve a problem much easier and better, then someone with a data science background should also know about the basic basics of mathematical optimization. That way, they can understand what that is, that mathematical optimization is, how it's different from machine learning, how they even interact with each other. And that way, uh, I would argue that you can identify problems that maybe they have gone unnoticed to you and uh, also come up with more creative solutions for problems that you were already solving. Because let's face it, if, as the saying goes, if the only tool that you have is a hammer, then it is very tempting to treat everything as if it were a nail. Uh, so 
we put a lot of time and effort into creating these materials. I am very excited to be part of it. And I'm also excited for you to see what you can learn during these two days and how you can later apply it in solving your problems. Thank you.